What's up y'all, it's your girl CP and today I'm in Japantown in San Francisco and I'm going to be showing you some of the area that's in here like in the Japan Center and some of the other buildings within the vicinity that makes up Japantown in San Francisco. So apparently there's only four Japantowns in all of the US and SF being one of them, LA and I'm not actually sure what the other two are, there might be one in New York uh, but yes. And so in today's video I'm going to be eating a couple foods, showing you some dessert and just some stores that I really like. restaurant I'm gonna be eating at is called Udon Mugizo. This appetizer is their assorted tempura that comes with three pieces of shrimp, sweet potato, eggplant, pumpkin, and broccoli. And it also comes with a squid, which I'll talk about in a little bit. Mm, great radish. Really meat taste. Really refreshing though. I had no idea what this was. I actually thought it was like a, uh, some like vegetable, like a root vegetable. But this is a squid. I was very, very surprised. And it's actually a little bit citrusy. So they like re squeeze that lemon on top. I was very surprised by this. Mmm. Look how that is. Okay. R.I.P. But look at that meat. Wow. This is the main dish that I wanted to come here for. This is the sea urchin cream sauce udon. Right when the dish was placed in front of me, I could immediately smell the Parmesan cheese. Like it was so strong and it just smelled so delicious. And you could see a whole heap full of that here. I was super excited to be able to order a bowl of the sea urchin cream sauce udon because it's super limited to the amount of bowls that they serve per day. Roughly about 20 to 25 people could order this. I was here on a Monday around 3 to 4 p.m. So it was a little bit before the start of a dinner rush and I lucked out and was able to get myself a bowl. Really creamy. Really good green onion. That's nice. Mm. Really, really people want them. Nice crunch of tempura on top. Tempura bits. Really rich. The noodles are amazing. And that's the texture. The uni sea urchin is really good. It's cooked and it's not too like sea tasting. It's really delicious. It's a little bit slimy. I had a little bit of crunch from like shell, but overall very good. I never actually had cooked uni. Alright, shares for this. Ooh. 
It definitely has a nice kick. Jamie's got a good flavor, Wow. Especially with how rich it is with the cheese and the uni. Adding the spice definitely gives it a texture and flavor. So this dish is a little bit on the pricier end. It's $25, but it's well, well worth the experience. It was just so delicious. Even rewatching this video from editing, it's just like, wow. I remember that. That was so good. If you plan on coming here for dinner, they do a Yelp reservation list uh, that you have to put your name on an iPad, and then they'll send you a text. I've seen that the wait times have been very long uh, from reviewing some of their Yelp reviews. Um, I personally didn't have to wait too long, but again, like I said, I wasn't really there at a quote unquote busy hour, but the restaurant was full when I got there and it was still not even like your peak dinner lunch time hours. Dessert, I went downstairs to Kisako Tea. It is a stand that has some sweet treats. They also have some food there, but what I ordered was the Sakura Mochi and Sakura Mochi is a rice cake with red bean paste and it is wrapped in a pickled cherry blossom leaf. Mm. I think it's a perfect amount of sweetness. Mm. And a leaf? Yeah, just a little bit salty. Mmm. Mm. I really feel well with the red bean. Or the bean inside. I don't know if it's red bean or not, but... Mm. Really nice crunch to it. The leaf works really well with the mochi consistency. And the even have After I was done eating my dessert, I strolled over to the other side of the plaza to the East Mall. It's a little bit smaller uh, area that has a Daiso and some other restaurants. And I just walked off a little bit of my food. I was very, very full. A lot of stores, unfortunately, I've noticed have closed down due to COVID. So a lot of the smaller stores that were like really cool, like gifts that you could buy and little trinkets and stuff. So a lot of them have closed down unfortunately. But there's still a lot of good gems that are here. And I want to share with you so that you can visit Japantown and help the Japantown area and center thrive again. So come on down. Alright, I'm your girl CP says. Don't forget to click like, subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. See you all next time.